Hello students, welcome to Mass Academy. In this video, we are discussing about electric charge. What is electric charge? Electric charge that we represent by letter Q or simple Q. Electric charge is an intrinsic property of matter. Intrinsic property means the property within the inherent property of matter. So, electric charge is an intrinsic property of matter which causes electric force between the objects. So, intrinsic property like mass. Mass is another intrinsic property of matter. Mass is related to the gravitational field and charge is related to the electric field. Uh, mass produces gravitational force between the objects and charge produces electric force or electrostatic force between the objects. So, what is electric charge? Electric charge is an intrinsic property of matter which causes electric force between the objects. And electric charge is related to the electric field, Gra mass is related to the gravitational field and mass and charge are the two intrinsic properties of matter. What is the SI unit of electric charge? SI unit of electric charge is coulomb. Actually one coulomb uh, is a large quantity of charge. It is a big quantity of charge. One coulomb is a large quantity of charge. So, to represent smaller charges we use like milli coulomb, we use prefix milli coulomb. Milli coulomb that we represent m c m for milli, c for coulomb. So, milli coulomb that is equal to 10 to the power negative 3 coulomb. If the charge is even smaller, we use micro coulomb to represent smaller charges we use milli coulomb or micro coulomb. This represents micro, C represents coulomb. Micro coulomb is equal to 10 to the power negative 6 coulomb and if the charge is even smaller then we use nano coulomb. We use the unit nano coulomb. Nano coulomb represents 10 to the power negative 9 negative 9 coulomb. So, what is the SI unit of electric charge? SI unit of electric charge is coulomb and we represent coulomb by the letter C and electric charge is a scalar quantity. <coughs> what is the meaning of scalar quantity? Scalar quantity means has no direction. Scalar quantities has no direction. So, what is electric charge? Electric charge is an intrinsic property of matter which causes or which produces electric force between the objects and electric charge is related to the electric field or electric charge produce electric field and the SI unit of electric charge is coulomb. Coulomb is a one coulomb is uh, represent one coulomb represent large amount of charge means large quantity of charge. So, to represent smaller charges or smaller quantity of charges we use milli coulomb. Milli coulomb is equal to 10 to the power negative 3 coulomb or micro coulomb that is equal to 10 to the power minus 6 coulomb and nano coulomb that is equal to 10 to the power negative 9 coulomb and electric charge is a scalar quantity. Scalar quantity means which has no direction. The next is types of electric charges. There are two types of electric charge positive charge and negative charge. How does an object get positive charge? An object get positive charge when an electron is moved out of the object. When an object emit one electron it gets positive charge. And how does an electron get a negative charge? An electron get negative charge when the object receive electron, when the object gain electron. So, there are two types of electric charges positive charge and negative charge. An object to get positive charge when it will lose electron and an object to get negative charge when it gain electron. So, positive charge is related to losing electron. Negative charge is related to gaining electron, losing electron and 
gaining electron then uh, we discussed that uh, there will be force electric force between electric charges so what is the nature of the force if there is a positive charge and a positive charge two positive charges they repel each other the force will be repulsive force and force between two negative charges will be repulsive force and force between one positive charge and a negative charge will be attractive force positive charge and positive charge repel negative and negative repel N positive and negative attract so we can say like charges repel like charges repel each other like charges repel each other and unlike charges unlike charges attract negative and positive unlike charge they attract positive and positive like charge they repel negative and negative like charge they repel each other so like charge repel and unlike charges attract each other the next is conservation of electric charges conservation of electric charge means charge can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one body to another you know that right what is conservation of charge conservation of charge means charge can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one body to another and another way of defining conservation of electric charge is the total charge of an isolated system the total charge of an isolated system remains constant so for example we have three charges here a two coulomb charge a three coulomb charge and a four coulomb charge in a box so we have uh, these three charges here and we are shaking like this so what happens is uh, the charge will be transferred between the object because they contact each other and after that after shaking the charges we got uh, a negative two coulomb and a five coulomb and this q charge so what you need to calculate or how to calculate the charge or q what is the value of that charge so by conservation of charge we know that the total charge of an isolated system remains constant it will not change so what is the total charge here that before we shake before we shake the charges the total charge before we shake it is 2 coulomb plus 3 coulomb plus 4 coulomb and by law of conservation of charge this will be equal to the total charge after we shake the bottle so that is the total charge after we shake the bottle is negative 2 coulomb plus 5 coulomb plus this q right so 3 plus sorry 2 plus 3 plus 4 that is equal to 9 coulomb so 9 coulomb that is equal to negative 2 plus 5 negative 2 plus 5 is 3 3 coulomb plus q so what is the value of q q is equal to 9 minus 3 right that is 6 coulomb that is how to find the value of this unknown charge so what is conservation of electric charges conservation of electric charges states that charge can neither be created nor be destroyed but it can be transferred from one body to another or we can uh, define conservation of charge in another way that is total charge of an isolated system remains constant total charge of an isolated system remains constant.